Hello, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. Reefer Madness. It's gonna be a lot of reefer here. Yeah, pretty sure. You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Uh-oh. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's gonna cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. This guy actually looks very Some familiar. Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. I know this game uses like face tracking, so a lot of the characters here are real life characters. So he could actually be somebody I've seen before. So we got to go and interview Freddie Cajon. Exits over here. Now we are kind of new to this department. Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. That's actually very true. He what? looks like right. money, but he's not really money. You see? There, he's flaunting things address. he doesn't have, pretty much. <laughs> like this good old this. car right here. Middle of the afternoon. This crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> what a weirdo. Did some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you... Sorry guys, I didn't mean to cut him off, but what can I do? I wish it would kind of just keep the dialogue until it's over and then the cutscene happens, but yeah, it doesn't really do all that. Anyhow. There's a the little sneak. That's him in the back, Cole. Okay, perfect. This is the guy we gotta talk to. Is it him? Advice? Uh take a seat with Freddy, Cole. Triangle? I'll do all the talk. Oh, you gotta press triangle. To take a seat? Really? Freddy. You're looking <laughs> good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here Wait, we for. Were just... You got the money? The okay. 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. But be careful. He likes guns. Now, do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Well, title wasn't incorrect. Reefer Madness. It's a whole lot of reefer today here, boys. You drive. One got to see a cruise's residence. All right, where to? A whole lot of reefer. This is you before cocaine and stuff, of course. Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. I think cocaine got introduced in like late 70s, maybe 80s or something like that. I mean, it was probably around before that, but really hit the scene. During those times, and here we go. We've got a Tommy gun. Lots of Thompson. Call for help. I'll try to find a way in. He was not wrong when he said he likes his guns. <laughs> he likes his gun all right. We gotta be careful here. Hold on. Jesus Christ. What? You have gotta be kidding. Throw out we the got gun. this. We got this. Got him. Perfect. 
Holy cow. <laughs> that was a little crazy. It's a little bit too soon for this crap. Well, now we got dead bodies here too. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. This just turned into a homicide. No, not really. Oh, damn. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Oh, Dope yeah. peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. All right, so let's investigate the body first. <sighs> See what this man's all about. Okay. Well, he didn't really have anything. The only thing I think we should be investigating is, is probably his jacket. See what he has in his pockets because everything else was pretty much done by us. All right. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Huh. Okay. That's a clue. How about the left hand side? No. Maybe he's got some rings or jewelry that we might actually uh, find useful, perhaps. Left pocket. His wallet. Yes. Juan Garcia. That's him. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. So that's not him. Okay. Let's check the other arm just in case. I think we're clear here. Okay, we can back off now. gun these are the type of weapons they're dealing with huh very nice not relevant to the case though got a little notepad here that's the same thing that it was spelled in the dollar on the silver dollar was it or very similar at least we have to use the phone. No. Oh, what the hell happened here? I feel like we're going to find something outside in the backyard. But before we head that way, I'm going to check everything here. Well, this is the ammo they were using. Seems irrelevant. Not necessarily irrelevant, sir. That is the ammo you were being shot by. Diccionario. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Just a dictionary and we've got a newspaper here as well. Oh, which we cannot interact with, so never mind. I thought we were going to get another secret cutscene. All right, let's open this up. Oh, hi. Reefer. Can we pin anything? I don't think this is relevant to anything. Okay. Let's go the other way. Oh. Parnell's Soup Company. This is the same soup. Okay. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? <laughs> Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. The grasshoppers get it. Because <laughs> they smoke reefer and then junkies because they inject morphine into their arms. Different tale. That is all. So 20th century markets. Parnell's. That's the soup. Canned Mistrone soup. These are the guys keeping one so well stocked with soup. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go, go investigate that. More of the boxes here from the same company. For sure, for sure, these boys are sending out the reefer. Let's go speak to the neighbor. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, we were told you. Always knew they were up to no good. Son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, please call us before something like this happens. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, detective. Only one address listed, 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. What about in here? 
Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> Definitely not sugar. Just a bunch of bolts and stuff. Okay. What do you have here? This is like... Not everything here is going to be relevant. I don't know what that is. It's irrelevant shit. Okay, hold on. We got a paddle. This is where the guy said he spent most of his time. Alright, we're gonna open up some of these. These cans gotta have something. One of them will have something that's not pertaining to what we think this is. So, I'm gonna keep opening up these cans. Nope. It's gotta be the next row. Maybe here, the middle one? The one that says flower? Could be the one that says flower. Oh, fucking shit! Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> Fuck off. All right, it's gotta be the flop. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. All right. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? What is this? Parnell's Soup Company. Delivery ledger. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Yeah. Yeah, that's... Tijuana's. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. Oh, yeah. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, we've got a can opener here. Let's open up one of these cans. I bet you these cans are the ones that got the good stuff. Hungry or something, Phelps? Reefer. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory <laughs> sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. It's a lot of weed. All right. So we done. How about this one? Open up the next one just in case. This is quite the interesting one, huh? A little hidden or hidden stash in the back and everything. Okay, we'll put this can back. Good. Music cue means we are clear to go. So we've got a couple of places to go. I think first and foremost, we should probably head over to the soup company. Let's see what we got here on the notebook. You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? I wonder if we should go to Parnell's soup company or let's go down the list. Head office and manufacture plant of Parnell's soup company. I don't know if. Neighborhood girls grocery store and Parnell soup stock stockist. I don't know. They both they both sound really important. I'm gonna go to Parnell Soup Company, and then we'll go to the uh, the other spot. So I'll make my party drive over there, and we'll see. I know sometimes depending on which one you go to first, you'll Brother get certain. Brother says the clues. morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. All right, guys. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. Um, LAPD. Okay. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Yeah, she, she seems a little agitated. You just wanted to follow her, didn't you? 
You sly dog. I must apologize <laughs> for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. Uh, okay. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. <laughs> you could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. See. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Was it Augusto? Uh, what was it? What was his name? Uh, Cruz, right here. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A uh, Jorge Garcia Cruz. And then we have, uh, yeah, that was just him. I was looking for EJ, but. I think that's just him. All right, so we've got Parnell's Soup Company. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mm -mm. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Okay. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. This guy's a little tricky to read. I'm waiting for his eyes to roll or something. Okay. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is, I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local mm. blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. All right, so no knowledge of the Cruz brothers. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. That's bullshit. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Inside man, George Garcia. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Hmm. So he didn't know his last name. I that could be believable. I'm gonna go with good cop. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. 
Okay, We'd good. like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. All right, let's I go. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. <laughs> That's a big factory. Holy crap. Decent amount of employees. Well, actually three employees. Two more at the front, five employees for such a big warehouse. Well, actually, no, there's more up top. Never mind. Okay. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Okay, so they put the vegetables there to go on the track, go all the way up. Why don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. Yo, wear gloves. Corona's out there. Just, just mix it up the veggies without any gloves. You disgusting fuck. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. Hmm. Okay. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> right? <laughs> These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. Okay, so we've got... 20th century. What's going on, Parnell? Same one from There's the newspaper. There's going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's the same one, 20th century. Is there anything here that we can investigate or just speak to the guy? Let's see. Parnell's soup. Oh, okay. We can we can open it. Oh shit. <laughs> what were you expecting? I'll have to come back at night to find out. Oh. Can we get another soup can? I mean, there's no way they're literally opening the cans, emptying them, and then putting drugs in them. You'd be able to tell. Okay. All right, so let's talk to this guy. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure. Why not? Silver dollar. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. Got the same continuation of letters as the last coin. All right, so we've got uh, Sergio Rojas, a deliveries dispatcher at Parnell's Soup Company Factory. Do you have access to the canning area? I do, but I keep to my station, loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Yeah, that face tells a lie, buddy. <laughs> Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. 
So maybe the owner doesn't know. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. Wait, wait, hold on. We have the coin. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Blanca. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. Yeah, he had the other... Yeah, right here. Juan's the silver coin. And this guy has a different, like, the beginning of a word, and then this guy has the other piece of the word, and there might be another coin. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? Juan and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on there. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? <laughs> is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. Hmm. I, I honestly don't even know if the owner knows about it, honestly. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. All right, let's get back in the car. And we're going to head to the next destination. Where is my car? Well, not my car, but, you know, my partner's car. It's a very expensive car that he pays every month, but yet you know has no way. money to you pay the other bills. Do we know where we're going? We're going to have to go back. We're, we're going to come back over here again because it's not scratched out yet. But we're going to head over to the 20th Century Factory. And uh, see what we can come up with over there. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Roas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Hey, we've seen that guy before. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King hmm. to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. chances oh okay well we got a suspect oh come here little buddy you took your chances a little bit too soon <laughs> whatever you're carrying hand it over oh well, back of weed I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. I'll confiscate you can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, 
I would like to help you, but I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Oh, there's the other, there, there it is. is. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Apellido Sanchez. What's his last name? Aito Quintilio Sanchez. Aito. Aito. 1910. Holy cow. Sanchez Erto. Mexican. Tijuana address. Cabello castaño. Ojos café. <laughs> All right. So Sanchez is his last name. He's got about three bucks. Two bucks. Actually, all right, sir. Here you go. Let's talk now. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop, that's all I do. Yeah, so why do you have the freaking coin that the other twos have, huh? Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know which coin to choose. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Parnell's soup shipments. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. The real funny, wise guy. <laughs> you want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. Okay, good. Juan and Jorge Cruz. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan. Juan brought in Jorge. I mean, I guess. Okay. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal. So he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. <laughs> and I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. It's crazy how reefer was illegal back then in, in California. Now it's, it's, it's not, you can just smoke it, but this was back in the forties, you know, fucking early, not mid, mid early, no, no mid mid forties or so. Parnell's a soup company factory. We're back here again. So I guess we're waiting at nighttime when everything happens. Freddie said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let them unload the goods first. Mm. 
Now, let's get him. Let's go. Alright. I'm gonna go to the trunk. Alright, move. Move! Here we go. Let's go! Relax! I want this one. Let's go. It's going down! Everyone into position. Got your back. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them! Weapons on the ground. Oh. Oof, there was a guy right there. I did not see that guy. Hold on. Got a guy up front. Got him. Where's the other guy in here? There's, there's a guy in there. I wonder if the owner's here. I don't think so. At this time. How long do you think you can hold out? Yeah, okay, get him around here. This one's got your name on. Oh no, get out of there. Jump, jump over. There we go. Got him. Oh crap. Oh my god. I think these are all like the Mexicans that are doing this business. Like behind the owner's back. Which I could be wrong. Come on. There we go. Show your little head. Pop that little head. God damn it. All these other games are so like... They're not really optimized for shooting. <laughs> okay, I think he's dead already. Okay. Let's get out of here. This game, if you get hit with a couple of bullets, you're done. So I don't want to really be... I don't want to be going out guns blazing. So now we're going to go upstairs. I believe it was through here. Yep, right up here. Check the floor, bitch. Come on, punk. Really hurts. I think I got him. Got him. All clear. I think that's the last of them, Cole. I don't think I saw the owner here, though. So what happens now? Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. Oh. He's got the other coin in his hand. Why? One dollar per dead man. Way Doesn't thing. seem like much yeah. for a human life. All right, let's check out his pocket. Hold on, put this back. This could this be uh, Ernesto or whatever his name was? It is. If you want an huh. address, we should see what the Federales have on it. Ernesto. Perfect. The sea of Grass. Wednesday night, August twenty seventh. <laughs> the sea of grass, Jesus Christ. Okay, do we have anything else? Maybe his other side, he has no pockets. He's got buttons, so it's not like we can... I think we're good. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Did we miss a clue within the body? Oh! That's so a very minimum another 50 pounds. Detectives! I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. So were they bringing in the boxes at night and then putting them in the cans? If they had access to the warehouse, they could easily do that without the owner knowing. 
because the owner would think that at night they're shipping out stuff like cans of soup Ooh. he's got a roll of money in his hands jesus it's a fat stack pal rolling deep it's be a thousand dollars here And he's got the last coin. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl, looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. <laughs> Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Put them together. Can you work out what it says? Yeah, it's going to be that one name that started with an M, the Magna... Mag something. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. Mesanke, that's what it is. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Oh, shit. Mesanke Metals. All right, let's head out. I know it was that one word that we 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 saw of at the beginning of the of the case. I just wasn't really good at pronouncing the word, so I didn't want to pronounce it incorrectly. So I just kind of sort of you're behind the wheel around it. But Sanke, Sanke Metal. And these cases are getting pretty freaking long, bro. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Locked. We need another way in. Hmm. How do we get in here? This is a restricted area. Oh, don't you look at this? Yep, that'll work. I don't even know if I gotta go back here. Full house. Over five. Oh shit! It's open back here. Off of the back door, Roy. Hey, who the fuck is that? Reinforcements are on the way. Seats and the six. Damn, I should have got my damn shotgun. Oh my god, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Stay down. Perfect. I got you now, Let's go, baby. You don't got shit. Keep going. Okay. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. You're surrounded Ow. and your buddies are dead. Oh shit. Good. Give me some cover. Oh, this is a crit. This is a crazy shootout. Is that the owner? Find some cover. 
Might have to pick up one of those weapons, bro. These weapons are looking real tempting right now. Get out of the freaking way, dude! Come on, show yourself. Stay in cover. Got him. Got him. Finally, the auto aim is working. Jesus. Almost dead, though. <laughs> Nearly died. This case is pretty intense. LAPD, hands up! Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. I want a little bit more information as to what is my partner. Wedding advice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. There's always, if you know somebody in this department, you're good, man. It happened already more than once. I don't know where that's going to lead us at the end of the story, but for sure, for sure, it's got, it's got to have an impact on Phelps. Because every time it happens, he gets like pissed off about it. But there you guys have it. Reefer Madness. <laughs> that was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed today's case. As always, if you want more LA Noir here on the channel, be sure to leave it a like. And hopefully, I'll catch you guys later.